okay all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be again talking about the good problems of the lead code and the today our problem name is open the lock and the index number is 752 and the problem is of medium type problem of the lead code okay so actually i'm making this video after a very long time since i were quite busy uh, i think i should have to do one thing uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i will recommend to subscribe it uh, since we are reaching a threshold of you can see a thousands of subscribers and we need your support so for supporting us for supporting code with sunny either you can donate uh, to these credentials you can uh, see over here or you can at least subscribe to our channel or share our videos like our videos and all that stuff okay hi everyone so this is sunny kumar from iit bhu and welcome to my channel and code with sunny and today i am going to discuss okay. the problem so we need your support uh, subscribe L -shaped to our channel plots so that it would become more and more to reachable to those coders that are still uh, requiring the concepts and is still requiring the correct ideas to solve a problem okay so talking about this problem now open the log okay So index number is 752 as I've already said. Now we have a lock in front of us containing four circular wheels, and each wheel has ten slots, zero, one, two, three, up to nine. And uh, there is a lock is that is going to start at zero, 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 zero. That is this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. And representing the state of four wheels, that is the first character is denoting the first state of the wheel, second, third, fourth. that is the state of the four wheels and we have been given a list of dead ends and dead ends list is basically signifying that this state of uh, wheel should not be reached suppose uh, dead ends vector contains a string like 0 1 2 and 4 it means that the wheel should not reach this state and this state should be prohibited okay and okay so meaning the lock displays any one of these codes the wheels of the lock will stop turning and you will be unable to open it okay given a target value a target string representing the value of the wheels that will unlock the lock it means that there is should be a given a target string that will unlock this uh, wheel okay and when it will be unlocked when i will reach the target string and return the minimum total number of turns required to open the lock or minus 1 if it is impossible okay so we need to return the what is the minimum number of turns okay so it means that if we are at state let's say 0 0 that means this is the current state of the wheel and let's say this is the target uh, string and we need to find it out what is the minimum number of moves so that i can transform this string to this string that is this is the source string and this is the target string minimum number of moves to transform this source string to to this target string such that in the all the possible states in between we should not reach a dead end state let me write it down dead end state if you are not understanding this dead end state let me explain this in much more simpler words okay so let me first erase this whole stuff and the simpler statement is suppose my initial state that is my initial source string is this one let's say denote it as s and i need to figure it out the target string that is uh, i need to stay, reach a state called target string 0002 and let's say this is st it means that we need to convert my source string to this target string in the minimum number of moves okay i think i should have forgotten what is the type of moves that we have to do okay the type of moves that we have to do is suppose the ith character of my string is uh, whose numerical value is 9 i need to increment this 9 to its next position and what is that next position it is 10 but you can easily see the wheels should have the 10 slots between 0 to 9 and then the next value of 9 would be not 10 it should be like 0 so let me erase this 10 and let me place a 0 over here okay so in other words what is the next value of 0 it should be 1 next value of 1 it should be 2 and so on and when it reaches to 9 that is so on when it reaches to 9 the next value of 9 would becomes 0 it means it is a circular pattern that we need to follow that is the next slot of a particular number would be like uh, n plus 1 and when n plus 1 reaches the value of 10 i need to consider n plus 1 as 0 and similarly the previous slot of the uh, previous slot of the wheels should be like 
one's previous would be zero and zero's previous should be nine this should be taken care of that okay so this was the explanation of the moves now uh, talking about the minimum number of moves okay this is the minimum we need to figure it out what is the minimum number of moves we have to do to the reach this state now let us consider the dead end state vector that is the sequence of strings that would be given to us uh, where the when we are transforming my source string to this uh, target string that particular state should not be reached okay so let us consider we have only a single string in our dead is, uh, dead end string vector and this is the particular string and this is my source string and you need to consider it to 0002 now okay uh, we will work upon uh, by picking a specific character you can easily see uh, first three characters already match we need not to consider for that for now now we need to consider to transform this 0 to this 2 so i will make a string like triple zero one but you can easily see this string is already in dead uh, dead end string vector so this uh, state of the will should not be reached we need to avoid that and how we can avoid that just try to find out the different state rather than this state okay so how can we find out a different state rather than this state it would be like uh, we are not going to transform this to triple zero one we will transform it to double zero then one and then single zero then i will again transform this to double zero one one okay so this is the first next string this would be the next next string that is firstly i have transformed for the this character then i have transformed for this character then i will just decrement my third character that is third character is this one it would become zero 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 again one okay and if this reaches one i will just transform this triple zero one to its next state but can this be a valid state no this is not a valid state because you have reached again another state whose string is already present in this dead end vector so, so here arises another exception we should not have to reach to certain state or certain state of the wheel whose string representation is already present in dead end vector okay then how we can do that okay so no need to worry about let me explain in much more simpler words okay so let me raise this stuff okay now uh, you should have to memorize that i have a dead end vector which have a string like triple zero one okay that is this string i need to avoid this state okay so how i can transform that let's say i am transforming this triple zero that is four times zero to a state called zero zero one zero in one moves okay then again i will transform this string to another state and what is that another state triple zero uh, not triple zero double zero one one then again i will transform this to double uh, zero one two now you can easily see i can transform this again back to this state like double uh, zero or triple zero this one one or two i think uh, that is already two in one step i can remove or i can change any character of the string to your next or previous okay now talking about the sequence of moves you can easily see this string is not present in my dead end vector and this string is also not present this string is also not present this string is also not present as well as this string is also not present so this gives us the idea that these sequence of strings are not present and what is the number of moves in one move second move third move four move so we require four moves to transform this string uh, 4 times 0 to this 3 times 0 and 2 and this is the target string and this is the source string so my answer comes out to be 4 but uh, this can be the minimum answer I don't know so this can be the minimum we need to find out the minimum answer okay so now uh, this is the sequence of steps that you should follow that uh, every state of the will should not be present in the dead end vector and if uh, there are not a sequence of steps to reach the target string we need to return minus one in that case okay so talking about the approach now let's move further to understand how we can approach this problem with the help of certain graph theory concepts like depth first search or breadth first search okay so let's move further okay so talking about the approach so i think i've forgotten to mention the talking about the constraints also so I have forgotten to do that. 
that the dead end's length is 500 so we can have a brute force type approach and the target dot length is always 4 so there would be like a, a string of maximum string would be like 4 times 9 and if you consider the numerical value of 4 times 9 it will come around to be from 0 to 4 times 9 would be like 10 power 4 okay so we we can have a brute force solution to find the minimum number of moves and target will not be in the list of dead ends also and target and dead ends consist of the digits only this can be helpful but now let us move further to understand this with the help of steps approach now you can see we have a source string and we have a target string and uh, we need to find the minimum number of moves now consider this as a problem of graph theory graph theory finding the uh, uh, okay so in other words let us say what is the minimum number of steps minimum number of moves to go from a source node to this target node in a uh, in a graph let's say we have a graph like uh, this one and uh, this one we have a graph like this one let's call it as a directed graph okay and we need to find what is the minimum number of moves to reach from this source string to this target string and so it could be like uh, try to traverse try to have a breadth first search starting from the source string to the target string and find out the level of this target string with respect to this source string okay you can easily see here it comes out to be one two so the target string is at level equal to two uh, with respect to source string and this is the minimum number of moves actually so it means that you need to transform your source string to this target string uh, in the minimum number of moves and this can be easily done with the help of breadth first search that is start traversing from the source string to this target string now comes the main thing what should be the directed edge okay so directed edge would be like consider a string you have like a triple four times zero and another string like uh, 0 0 uh, 0 1 and another string like 0 0 0 9 and another string like uh, 0 0 uh, 9 0 now this is the actual source string and for this source string all the other three strings that I have mentioned are adjacent to this string so there would be a no uh, directed edge from this string to this string this string to this string and this string to this string also okay now there are total eight possible directed edge starting from a particular node okay eight for eight forty uh, eight possible edges uh, why i'm saying eight possible edges it would be like uh, for every character there are maximum four characters in a string and for every character i can just increment uh, character to its next position or i can decrement the character to its previous position so there are eight possible different states that is the next nodes and the uh, next nodes for a particular node and there would be eight directed edges so you need to consider all the directed edges now there would be also like uh, uh, certain nodes where you should not have to go like uh, this node is present in the dead ends vector so this this node should not be traversed you need to take care for that so you need to uh, just eliminate that condition that is whenever I reach a certain node that already consists of dead ends vector you need to just not to consider that and then find the minimum level of uh, this target string with respect to source string and that is your answer and if it uh, and if it could not be reached you need to return minus one in that case okay so let us uh, try to understand this uh, in a more deeper way with the help of code and uh, how to consider this as a problem of graph theory and all that okay so let's move further okay so talking about the code i've already sum submitted some codes okay you can see first i've got the wrong answer because i have missed one uh, corner case now i've got accepted but runtime is very bad 1880 ms then i tried to optimize my code further then i got 240 then i got 128 finally and this is good i think okay so talking about the code okay let us talk about over here okay so you can easily see i have taken uh, okay a set basically a set uh, hash set where you can store all the uh, integral value of the strings like we have the string like triple zero then one then i have stored one because there would be like a maximum of the strings count would be like uh, the length is four and uh, in worst case would be like four times nine 
so i will take like uh, four times nine then i will take exactly four times nine if i will take like uh, a string is like uh, this state okay so if a string is like 0023 then i will take 23 because this is the value that i want okay so i will take a q and this is used for the breadth for search then i will push out the zero because i need to start from a string having the characters like four times zero and the initial level is zero i need to reach the target string and minimum number of moves would be like uh, level of target string with the, uh, with respect to source string so i have taken a visited vector also with of zero is true and start traversing in the breadth first search manner and take out the initial string and the initial level of the current state and now if that string that value is already present in my uh, dead int vector i need not to go further with this value okay so i will use the continue statement and also if i reach the target note that i've used sty function which converts a string into its numerical value and if my value v is reached over the target i will return the level that is yes i have found the string right now note that i have used the queue you can use a dijkstra algorithm also but i don't prefer to use a dijkstra algorithm in such case where the my graph is a weighted graph where every edge is exactly one every edge weight is is, uh, is exactly equal to 1 you need to consider the dijkstra algorithm when uh, the edge weight is uh, can be greater than or equal to 1 then uh, you can consider the dijkstra algorithm but here every edge weight is exactly equal to 1 i will consider the q based approach which will also give us the correct answer now i will take my current string current string would be like 4 times 0 plus this value Uh, i have done this because uh, you need to consider the this, this uh, extra zeros uh, leading zeros like you have the value 23 then you need to figure it out like this 0023 then only you can change the every state of the character to its previous or to its next and then find out the next value of string so this entire thing is going to do that uh, as uh, as what i have said now okay so start iterating four times and this four times is because consider every character and find out the my current value of the character then find out its next value and find out its previous value note that i have considered next and previous with the help of this ternary condition like nums is 9 then my previous should be 0 otherwise uh, that is my next would be 0 and otherwise my next is num plus 1 and similarly in the case of previous also now s1 is current and s2 is also current and s1 of j would be like this value and s2 of j would be like this value that is my next string and previous string respectively now is if my value that is s1 and s2 that is my next and previous for every state of the character is uh, not visited then i will push into the queue and perform the breadth first search respectively like in the sequence of manner uh, you are already aware of that if you have if you know the slightly concept of breadth first search finding the levels of a node with respect to source node you can easily understand all these steps okay so if that state is not reached v is not equal to h2i of target uh, any uh, any time that is uh, it doesn't happen that my source string can reach to a target string uh, like in uh, through any of the paths then this entire queue will be uh, executed and finally will, will return minus 1 as your answer so this is the entire code if so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to join our telegram channel subscribe to our videos and channels and uh, share our videos and uh, okay thank you for watching this video